What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more One Piece. Today we are doing episodes 45 through 48. And with that being said, I do want to let you guys know it is a lot more rare with One Piece compared to other shows. But with the first and last episode of every season, with, with longer shonen shows, I do like the openings. So since 47, according to my notes, is the last episode of opening one with the first and last episode of every opening of every show that we're doing you guys know what i'm saying the full length version which is normally a patreon exclusive is available for free for everyone click the link in the top of the description enjoy that free full length come back here for the review when you're done and if you did enjoy that consider checking out that patreon Keep, you know maybe the, you can unlock that forever the great benefits great community great time super excited because we're getting into a new opening new arc we're getting into I don't know exactly what it's going to be. I do know we're having a little side story with Buggy. I was talking to my editor a little bit. Shouts out to Ree. You've been an immense help in terms of what to skip, what not to skip, certain things. If you guys want to help me out as well, always leave a comment down below. Your guys' info is critical and very helpful. So much appreciated. Like I said, check out that Patreon, early access, full length, all that. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post over here. Let's hop right on into this episode, episode 45. I'm excited to get in this new opening in a couple episodes. Okay, we have a traveling newspaper selling pelican who I don't know who he works for, but again, I love the world building. That is true. It does add up. I get that. They both make valid points, you know, but money is still money. It's always great to have some money. I like how, uh, <laughs> true. I like how Usopp's working on his little shooting star kind of things. His Tabasco RC literally hot sauce. God damn. Grab that flyer before it goes flying off. Oh, is it a wanted? Is it Luffy's wanted poster? Whoa, some of these guys look kind of badass, I won't lie. Some of them look kind of goofy. They're talking about Luffy, yep. Morgan. 15 million, we already beat. Don Creek, 17 million. And Arlong, 20 million. We're making a name for ourselves. As a as a starting is unprecedented. Okay, it's not excessively high, you said. Okay, so they're trying to nip in the bud before it gets crazy. Oh, I love the way they're sitting all serious. Talk about ooh, I got goosebumps. 30% uh, more than Arlong. God damn, 50%. My math is horrible. Who is this guy? Oh, he looks decorated as shit. Not like in a bad way, like he's like a decorated officer. Look at the amount of men he has under him. Is this going to be our next arc? Dealing with the military and the Navy? Compare these guys to fucking Morgan and uh, Hell Meppo's fucking people. Night and day. These guys look way doper. <gasps> Kaya? Oh, she's going to see the news about, uh, yep. A wanted poster. Look at her. She looks so much. She looks so good. And she's ecstatic to see that. She knows Usopp's making... Oh, she can see him in the corner. Shouts out, Kaya. Shouts out, Mary and the going Mary. Imagine Usopp, the pirate gangster liar that he is, mixed with Kaya, the best doctor. Imagine, I mean, we do need a doctor. Not saying anything, but we do need a doctor on the squad. Kobe is this oh my god we're getting an episode where we're seeing so many characters and literally bringing me to tears look at him he already looks taller I already love this shit feels even though it's only been 40 episodes feels like I've been watching this shit for like three months already which I have look at how Meppo tour boy too good damn if I got this every 50 episodes or so and I just got an update from all the characters oh my oh it would hit like nobody oh that's crazy we got Zef seen it as well. I mean, unprecedented, unprecedented for the East Blue, you know? 30 million for starting. Did he say, I think he said globally. 30 million starting Barry wanted amount. That's insane. And they got it hung up in the restaurant. <laughs> oh, 
great moment. It really was. Look at that beautiful ocean. Just to be a restaurant out there, you know, help people coming in and coming out. That'd be so dope. <laughs> that is pretty badass. Wanted dead or alive. See, now, just for reference, we have Arlong and Don Krieg and Buggy for reference. But I want to know, like, Shanks and some of our other people we know, like Yasov, you know? Like, I need to see them. Nami is right. I agree, but as the spectator, it means I'm I'm just ready for it, you know? Not just the Navy as well. I mean, we have Johnny and Yosaku who are like lower level bounty hunters comparatively, you know, to like, they thought Arlong was crazy at 20 million berries and we have higher one. Ooh, I forgot, I didn't even think about bounty hunters. Honestly, with how much news this Pelican is selling, he must make a killing. Damn, that really sucks for him. I won't lie. I just wanted to see real quick if I recognize any more of these people. Golas, Wild Joe, Aluvita. I'm pretty sure I have it as Alvita, but I remember her. I wonder if any of these other people are actually. What are the odds? Are you serious? Okay. Yep, that's literally me right now. Okay, we get to test out. <laughs> we get to test some stuff out right now. <laughs> From some time. You want us to help you? Are you stranded? Are you good? It's so funny having a main character who's technically a bad guy in the terms of the law. You know, I'm not used to this. Like, he's so nonchalant. Ooh, it didn't even detonate because this man cut it straight in half. I'm not gonna lie, that was clean. The way they animated that? Yeah, they have an ass cannon, ass shit. That's what happens when you have a scrap. Oh my god, look at the guy on the left. And he's gonna headbutt you right back. That was honestly, I like the way he did that. <laughs> he's just willing to tank it. And then single-handedly is whooping all the ass. Oh, not single-handedly. Is that the boy Sanji? Yeah, you remember what happened last time you wasted some food with Sanji? Yeah? Shouts out a full body, but... <laughs> I know, that was hilarious. It really goes to show how strong we really are. Oh. Anytime I see that. Who do you have business with? I would give him anything he needs. I would go fetch him immediately. Now, I do know these couple episodes should be the side story of Buggy. Oh, Yasop? I saw Yasop? Oh. Wait, Mihawk knows Shanks? Settling? Th they knew each other before the whole Luffy incident? So he knows stories about Luffy not knowing it's Luffy, and there, this is Shanks' first time. Oh my god, this episode for just being like a little This is this is so good. What do you mean by that? Oh, he has to tell him the stories. Okay. Can't let you okay. I was like worried there for a second. I should have known it's Shank. One of the shouts out to the strongest character by far we've seen in this show. Just chilling with Shank. Is this Koko Yashi? Good for him. That has to be... That's not Koko Yashi, because that's a different... Oh, this is where Shanks was, uh... Like the... Yeah, because she was the bartender, right? This is where Luffy grew up as a kid. Yeah. 
Okay. Please give me any world building info you would like. I'm here to take it. <laughs> no, let Nami explain, please. I know. Logue Town. That's a yeah. Gold Roger is the dude, the one piece. Of course, absolutely. The title of the goddamn show. New character. New female character intrigued by Lou. Okay, and Buggy, obviously. Don't care about Buggy. All right, on to episode 46. Let's do it. Oh, she's having a flashback. Okay, I was about to say, did he send him flying? That was the buggy arc. That already felt like it years ago, you know? That is a good question, Nami. Oh, what in the world building mother trucker? Where are we going? That was a super dope transition way to from where to cut us over to Buggy. How they're stranded, how they're getting out. So they really got Team Rocketed to this stranded island, yep. Did, did he ever get the rest of his body back or no? No? Yeah, no, oh my god, this would be like death. These are like some fucking monster piranhas. It looks like a chocobo from like Final Fantasy, but the fact that it's the same size as Mini Buggy is so funny. Okay. Do you guys ever play the video game Spyro Year of the Dragon where you have to chase things like around the map and it would be literally exactly like this? Oh, yep. This thing is about to die and be eaten. Or its homies are gonna come help. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is our dad. This is our friend. I don't know. As soon as I saw these sentient creatures here doing that, I would just get off this island. That thing looks horrifyingly strong. And it's... Oh, come on, Bucky. You're such a stupid ass. Now does buggy taste ass just because it's buggy? I thought maybe it had to do something <laughs> to do something with the devil fruit, but nah, I don't think so. I think buggy just tastes ass. These are guys is extra. Like the odds of full body last episode, the odds of buggy just he's like a meteor. Anyone else, I would be like, R.I.P. That is certain death. What's it going to be now? Oh, it's Gaimon. Okay. The goat. That is so funny. They're both going to be around the same size because he's like a chest too. Damn, if that was like six inches lower, Buck would be dead right now. I think Gaimon might have him on height just a little bit with the afro, but it's, it's quite close. That's so funny. They are some adorable animals. In terms of an actual fight, I think Buggy's taking that. Maybe with the help of the animals, Gaimon can take it. The battle of the small One Piece characters. He whips out the gat.
This is honestly kind of not bad of a fight. Just out Gaimon with the straps. Putting up a good battle. Chop Chop quick escape. That was pretty good. God damn. Gaimon's gonna be like, oh, this is all just a misunderstanding, then you can leave. <laughs> They're all just enjoying those melons. I mean, it's fair to assume anyone here would be poachers, you know. Especially Buggy's a little bit of a weirdo, but now they're all cool. Hey, all a big misunderstanding. My own unrefined sake. How do you make your own homemade sake? I said sake sake. So we really are getting the info what happened to Buggy after getting this whole side story. Getting all the animals drunk. <laughs> they just start standing up. Start dancing. I don't think he will because he likes to stay here and take care of his animal friends. He wants to make sure they're okay. But I wouldn't mind seeing Gaimon again on the seas with his little weird shaped self. That snake looks a little crazy, but I agree. Living with some animals for 20 years, you develop such a bond with them. What are the odds? Such a small, it's such a big world, but it's also such a small world too, you know? I mean that in the sense in which everyone knows everyone. I'm sure you and him would be good. For, under different circumstances, you guys might. Especially because you were friends with Shanks at one time, you know? It's funny how they both have a story about Luffy. One of them says he's amazing. One of them says he's an asshole. Kanpai. All right, Raft version two. It's like the Nimbus 2000. This is the Raftus 2000. We almost got eaten by a big buff dodo bird, and then Gaimon and his squad helped us out to sail on the seas again. This is not what I was expecting for this episode. With this heartfelt, with this heartfelt goodbye. Look at this. Gaimon and Buggy. Buddies at sea. Shouts out to these episodes, man. I love the way that looks too. That's animated like that matte, like painting style. There are many strange creatures in these waters. Be ever careful on your way. Are you serious? Oh, I mean, I think he knew that, but still, what are the odds? Not even. What is this, Moana? Holy shit. Is that the lady who saw Luffy's wanted poster? That thing is dead. Holy shit. R.I.P. Mr. Krabs. Ooh. Who is this lady? I think the same thing, Buggy. I thought the same thing, Gaimon. It's so... I cannot take him seriously when he's, like, in this size. And she's looking for... What is with this heart-filled ship she cl clearly wants luffy's life dead or alive that 30 million berry ma'am do you want to give me your name so i know who you are i know like what the hell i love how i love that picture of nojiko and bellamere and the herbant crab is still there 
It finally got launched off. Aw. Who knows how long? Oh, that was kind of cool. I like the way they did that, but. Damn. Damn, man. All right. Uh, we are doing episode 47, the last episode of opening one. I'm unfortunately not going to watch opening two until a certain episode. I'll have to check back with the Discord because I've been told it spoils certain characters. So I'll let you guys be the deciding factors on that and the judge in the comments down below. But this is episode 47. So let's finish off open the last episode of opening one with a bang. Yeah, what do they do after seeing their their main dude get launched off? Shushu was whooping their ass. They're all distraught without their main man. I get it. So they've been just sailing, waiting for him to come back. We got the guy Zoro bested, and, and then we got the guy uh, Luffy beat up. Yep. He's got a vengeance for Zoro. I wonder if we might get a rematch with that, even though I think Zoro will easily handle him now. And he sneezed because he was talking about him. He's doing some more science experiments for his exploding stars. What island is this? It had like a grave made for him. More him. Shouts out who is men at least. Honorable. Passionate men. All grieving because of their captain. Akabaji. Okay. Kabaji. Got it. Uh oh. They are not. Their successor beef. Moji and Kabaji. Oh, wow. They set up the whole ring. We got Beast Tamer Moji, Acrobat, Kabaji. My money is on Kabaji, honestly. But that's only because Moji doesn't have his beast, you know? Who won that? I like the way they animated that. It was like the white flash. Both of them just broke each other's weapons. Okay, the stand stalemate, standoff. Ooh, they're throwing these haymakers. Honestly, this would be like some. I'd be like. Shouts out to the durability and endurance of these guys fighting for what I assume to be hours. People are making dinner. They're still going at it. Jesus Christ. The double knockout? The double finishing punch? If you guys can hear any crazy music or anything, uh, my neighbors are kind of throwing a little get-together little party. So it's a little loud, I won't lie. So sorry if you guys can hear that. What is the beast? Okay, this is too much. He's having his own dream where he's the captain. What the hell kind of beast is that? Richie, you better get him. Savage captain that you are. What am I watching? So sleepwalkingly, Richie came and knocked both of them out after they fought continuously hours and Richie's oh. he's like this is not what I was actually expecting I was just sleeping the whole time but hmm. 
We got indigenous? We got natives? The Bear Claw tribe. I assume Richie Dope, oh, I was going to say, did want to pick a fight, but then got his ass whooped. All their asses whooped. So the Bear Claw tribe is nothing to be scoffed at. <laughs> I, like I said, shouts out to Buggy's squad mates. They're all passionate so they don't even know that richie knocked him out and his captain now or they're talking about the fight with the bear claw tribe what do you mean by that like they're gonna eat them yep He's recalling all of his spare limbs right back to him. We're about to get back to full buggy. Ooh, that's actually kind of cool. He turns into like, like this little side clone. Handless, feetless, shadow clone. Just ready to go. That's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> Even Richie's ecstatic to see him. Flashly reassemble. Here we go. It probably feels so good to be back to a normal sized body after being like that for as long as he was. Look at this. It's like a Power Rangers suit up the way they're moving his camera around him to get his body back. A buggy ball. Oh, yeah. Bear Claw Tribe is about to start having some issues. And Missy's going in with them. Mohoji and Richie. Let's get this combo going. It is pretty handy. Captain Buggy is back. Captain Buggy is here. Saving the Buggy Boys. He's like, the journey I've been through to get here is crazy. All the hardships. He's taking it all out on Luffy. Everyone's calling her pretty. I must agree. Give us a name, please. Buggy never even got her name up until now. All right, One Piece. Okay. Just not tell us. They're going back to the Straw Hat. Yep. 30 million berries. Logetown. So I wonder if that's where Buggy and this and this pretty girl are gonna come in in this next arc, Logetown. We're getting we're getting Zoro back to his three swords. We're gonna get upgraded equipment. I'm down. Let's get some new ingredients for cooking, some new weapons, gear. Get some more lore, world building. Oh, I'm so ready for this next art. And this is where we're going into this next one. Motherfucking Logetown. This is the last episode of opening one. It really does feel like it. Like it feels like, oh, um, I want to watch the next opening so bad. All right, on to episode 48. I did skip the opening. I wanted to watch it so bad, but uh, I'm waiting till a certain spot. So let's get right into the episode. No hesitation. Already in Logetown. Yep. Biblical Luffy. I would hate going to like a convention with that <laughs> with him. He just goes off. 
Oh, I want to know so much about him. To be the king of pirates, you know? You have to be insane. Ooh. Ooh. She's one of those gals who just want... Yeah, I feel for my man. Yeah, the finest ingredients, huh, Sanji? When am I going to meet these boys? I know this guy's name, Chopper. I don't even know this guy's name. I want to... Yeah, this does not seem legitimate. That looks like the cheapest quality I've ever seen. Don't get scammed by this guy, Usa. Yeah, what if Luffy goes to check the place where people get executed and they see him and he's wanted? What the hell? It's crazy to think, like, in, the, in terms of the law, our main character is a bad guy. You know, it's crazy to think about. This guy is a real smoker. He's like Morel from fucking Hunter Hunter. This guy's Jack too. Does he have two cigars in his mouth at the same time? Uh-oh, you hit Captain Smoker. He seems like a Morgan-type character, or he does not put up with shit like this, you know? Okay. okay. Obviously, he's going to be a righteous, justice-enforcing guy when it comes to pirates, but that was kind of a cool way to handle that little girl. Gave her enough to buy a little more. Cool way of saying it. So this is a guy pirate who landed on shore. They don't they don't have word of Luffy yet. Guy's kind of badass. I won't lie. One of the toughest guys from Navy headquarters. Does he really? Of course, they make it smoke filled so I couldn't even see how he knocked them all out. <sighs> this is so like Luffy. Oh my god. Bro, Luffy, are you serious? Tell him your name. Why don't you? Usha. Is that the name of his village, Fusha? I'm surprised Smoker couldn't tell immediately from his wanted poster that that's Luffy, but does he have control over his smoke? There's so much I want to know, I can't lie. Before the sheath even could hit the floor, she has them done for. And especially with Zoro seeing this, another woman swordsman, that's insane. I get instant Kuina vibes, you know? I feel you. I'm blind without my glasses. Oh, I know that was an accident, but goddamn, Zoro! Oh my god. This guy, I mean, I get him. Don't get me wrong, I get it. Instant, like, church vibes with this song playing. Interesting. Yeah, let's mention the skull with a huge divot right in the middle. Yeah, 
てめえには脱帽だ永遠の海賊に誉れを I mean that is an awesome story I wonder if any of these people are alive. See, I would love like look at Luffy right now. He's that he literally has goosebumps hearing these stories. He didn't fear it. Let me see what he looked like. I know we see that picture at the very beginning of the opening one, you know, but I want to. Hmm. Is this the old man that is with the ear with the glasses? Look at how buff this old man used to be. Hells yeah, he's a man of his word. This guy knew him too. You're looking at right at one, which is crazy. And he envisions him as well. Right in his in the bar named after him, of all places. Can't go wrong with a glass of milk. The eternal king of the pirates. Gotta take the hat off for the man gold Roger. He really does control smoke. He was there as well. I know they said since he took over, no pirate has escaped this area, but I don't know he was there 22 years ago when Roger was executed. Yeah, look how young Smoker looks. So he clearly wasn't in the Navy or anything yet. He was just a young lad. Sounds like we're watching the opening. Everything this world has to offer. Alright, Mans is being a real ass OG about it. Now, how do they do executions back in the day? Is it a hanging? I think I'm the most used to from pirate media is hanging. Could be the guillotine. I guess they're going to do the beheading. Double executioners. There's the barman. Oh, so they just straight up double stab through the heart. That man, damn. And everyone's ecstatic. They said you can, because the, 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 even the chance, even the smallest bit of hope of gaining that one piece, that ultimate prosperity, that wealth. Look at that. The black and white platform with just the red blood coming out. Oh, so he didn't see it earlier because he was disturbed by uh, the guy walking in. So that's why I was being stupid. I was like, he couldn't tell. But no, he didn't actually see it earlier when the guy walked in. He was just like, shut up. You're disturbing my clam stacking. Smoker is running at him. That is the exact spot. Ah, that is crazy to think about, man. God damn it. All right. So talk about a great four episode session, because think about it. I ended off the last arc beautifully because we got that recap, not the recap episode, but the refresher episode with everyone we've met so far us finding out that we have a wanted poster and everyone else finding out that we have a wanted poster including we had kobe we had kaya um clahador buggy 
um Dret mihawk and shanks like they know like oh my god talk about a great first episode to end that off wrapped it up like a bow tie like a beautiful present and we have this side buggy story getting us reintroducing us to buggy re-getting him acquainted into the story this pretty girl who he's with who seems to be i mean she has to be powerful for what she she's going after luffy who just took out arlong who arlong's gangster so that was a super funny story it was great seeing gaimon again and buggy went through it and to get back to his crew but he was able to get back to his crew they're reassembled they're looking for luffy as well and didn't i'm pretty sure sanji because we didn't cut back to sanji once we saw the grand prize that that woman but i'm pretty sure that means they're here right because i saw that girl here we never got to get her name i'm very curious but this is the spot we're in Logetown town where gold roger died and he seems to be just a he seems to, he obviously reminds the bar keeper and some other people of uh luffy and just their attitudes and stuff like that i'm but I, I like i want to know did mihawk know him did shanks know him like how what crew like i need to know what the one piece is oh my there's so much info i need to know god damn what a great bunch of episodes I need to watch some more i'm so excited i need to get these characters introduced i have merch for people that are, i have merch i have three other pieces of merch besides this for characters that haven't even been introduced yet so that's crazy to think about i need to see them i enjoyed this episode so much hopefully you guys did as well if you did please leave a like let me know your comments let me know your thoughts in the comments down below don't forget to subscribe and to click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel check out that patreon for early access uncut full length up to eight episodes one week ahead um don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace out y'all